Hey friends, on today's adventure we're headed to Harpoon Harry's Crab House in Pigeon Forge. I'm going to show you the menu, everything that this restaurant has to offer, the atmosphere, and help you decide if this is a place you want to go next time you're in the Smoky Mountains. So as you head in, you'll see there is a market price for snow, Dungeness, King Crab, as well as sushi specials that they have. Also give you a look at what the inside's like. Lots of booths, lots of TVs, great place to come watch a sports game. All right, let's take a look at the menu. A number of appetizers from crab cake to gator bites, which is what we ordered fried calamari, uh, quesadillas, a number of different things. You got a number of sal salads that are gluten-free. And then you've got your standard burgers, sandwiches, wraps, uh, whether it's pulled pork to cheeseburgers. And then you've got your buckets. So here's all your crab buckets. Those are gonna be market price. Number of land lovers from filet to ribeye, uh, chicken tenders for adults, pork chops, and then you got pastas, a couple of different shrimp type pastas. And then you got your standard seafood, fried uh, shrimp to uh, sailor's catch, which is what we got. I'll show you that here shortly. Crab cakes, fish and chips, and then you've got your seafood bar. So here's a look at all the different sides. You got mashed potatoes, french fries, bourbon mash, rice pilaf, asparagus, broccoli, coleslaw, vegetable melody, chili cheese fries. And then you got a kid's menu here. So this is for 12 and under, and uh, starting at $11 for steak, and you got hamburger. Uh, these are all about eight, nine dollars, typically about nine dollars. Uh, fried shrimp, fish and chips, chicken tenders, grilled chicken breast. And then you've got some other items that are served with no sides, mini cheese pizza, uh, they have been known for good sushi. They won an award back in 2021. So we have been here for sushi. That was the main reason we came. They have this TV up here. You can watch them make your sushi. Uh, so we came over here and enjoyed watching them make our roll rolls of sushi, I should say. We ordered a couple rolls. Awesome little chopstick devices that are great for kids who are learning to use chopstick. Unfortunately, they had no chopsticks, but here's a look a little more at the inside as well as the little wine area. All right, so here's our sushi. We don't have any chopsticks. We're doing... <laughs> Chopstick free sushi. So we got these fun little, we got these fun little things to use, but no chopsticks. It's so sad. But how is it? Good. Good. Micah, how is it? Good. Did you try the pistachio? Mm -hmm. Has it turned? No. <laughs> the pistachio has turned. Oh, and these are the gator bites. Oh, somebody's ready for a gator bite. This is the gator bite appetizer. You a gator bite? Have you had a gator bite? Have you had a bite of a gator bite yet? How is it? Good? Oh, he's going for a second. <laughs> it must sauce. be good. It must be pretty good. Yeah, use the dipping sauce. Here's some of the other food we ordered. This was a black bean burger. My mother-in-law said she enjoyed it. This was a bourbon shrimp. This was actually really good. Everybody tried a bite and enjoyed that. Here's a kid's shrimp with chili cheese fries. Give you a look at what that's like. And here's a standard kid's hamburger. Now this was a grouper with scallops and shrimp and rice and asparagus. Uh, it wasn't that great, honestly. It was kind of bland. So it was, we tried it, but we didn't really finish it. We wouldn't order it again. 
So that wraps up our look inside Harpoon Harry's Crab House. It is a great location in Pigeon Forge, easy to get to. What I also like about it in the cooler months, they open up these garage doors. So it's a very relaxing patio area. Sit out here, enjoy a beverage, a appetizer, and look out over the river. The food we had on this visit was kind of hit or miss. The Gator Bites and Whiskey Barbecue Shrimp were really good. The other seafood platter was just, again, kind of bland. The sushi we've had here has been hit or miss. We've had great sushi. This visit was kind of eh. Maybe the fact we didn't have any chopsticks really kind of bummed out the experience. But otherwise, if you have any questions about Harpoon Harry's, drop them down in the comments. Otherwise, we'll see you on the next adventure.